Angelo, just won another trophy. You know how many this makes? Neither do I. <laughs> uh, they should just give me a trophy for winning the most trophies. Hey, that's an idea. I could win a lot of trophies for winning the most trophies. Oh, oh, and then I could win a trophy for winning the most trophies for winning the most trophies. Or not. I can't stand cats. Especially ones who think they're cute. Yeah, and adorable. But I am cute and adorable. Just take a look. <laughs> we take care of cats who are cute and adorable. <gasps> Did I say cute and adorable? <laughs> no, 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 no. I meant uh, uh, mangy and ugly. Yuck. Um, disgusting. <laughs> Congratulations. You just won this lovely trophy for best performance by a scary dog in a lead role. Bye. <laughs> Um, guys, let's get that cat! Ah! Oh, help! 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 Oh, double help! This is a bad part of town, Odie. We shouldn't be down here. Yeah, this area is full of folks you don't want to be around. See? There's normal. Normal's being chased by angry dogs. If they catch up with him, he's a goner. Oh well. Oh. Hmm. You think I should help Normal? Hmm. Oh, all right. Come on, we can take a shortcut and catch up to him. And this was not a smart way for me to run. You know, guys, I'm not really as adorable as I might appear. Ah! Oh, this is it. I'm toast. Cute toast, but toast just the same. Hey, Normal. Garfield! Wow. Look at what we have here. Yeah, another cat we don't like. Looks like we got us a two-for-one deal here. <laughs> you may think you're going... <laughs> What's he doing? Beats me. Sorry, I've become infested with <laughs> Mongolian monster fleas. <laughs> They're very contagious. Quick, do what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, I don't want to get no, uh, uh, what did he say they were? Uh, Mongolian monster fleas. Hey, let's get away from them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think we ought to be someplace else before they come back. <laughs> Garfield, you saved my life. Yeah, don't remind me. A word of advice, Nermal? <laughs> Stay away from places you might get hurt, like this neighborhood or my house. Let's go, Odie. Garfield saved my life. He really did. <laughs> Maybe I had him all wrong. I thought Garfield didn't like me. Why did I think that? Maybe it was because all those times he said, Normal, I don't like you. Today on the show, we're going to discuss gratitude. <laughs> gratitude. I've heard of that. When someone does something nice for you, you should display gratitude. Thank them. Let them know that you owe them. And if someone did you a favor, do a favor for them. That's the decent thing to do in this world. Do a favor for Garfield? <laughs> well, he's right. I should do a favor for Garfield. I should do lots of favors for Garfield. He saved my life. Thanks, but I don't need you to do anything for me. <laughs> but there must be something I could do that would please you. Yeah? Go away. As you wish. Oh, I never thought getting rid of Normal could be so easy. And it saves on postage. I'll celebrate with a couple of desserts. I'll tidy up for my friend Garfield. 
So let's see, do I want vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, or pistachio? Yes, all of the above. What's going on here? Normal, the vacuum cleaner's too loud. What's that? Can't hear Garfield, the vacuum cleaner's too loud. My vanilla, my chocolate, my strawberry, my pistachio. Normal, turn that thing off. Hold on, Garfield, I'll turn this thing off. Normal, you turned it up to super suction. Ah, oh, try to turn it off. Help, help. Garfield, Liz is coming over and we need to clean up the living room. <sighs> Think we overdid it? Garfield, how could you do this? But I didn't do it. Normal did. He was trying to tidy up around here. <laughs> and and I... don't try to blame this disaster on cute little Normal. <laughs> and don't come back ever. Oh, wait for your best friend. Or at least until dinner time. Huh. What am I going to do with this room? Uh, maybe Odie can help me. Odie! Odie! Here, boy! Hmm? Oh. I don't care what you say, Garfield. I'm going to help you out. After all, you did save my oh. life. I keep asking you not to remind me, Nerval. Oh? Hey, hey, hey. <gasps> Look who's coming this way. <gasps> She's utterly awesome. Want to meet her, Garfield? Well, I'm pretty happy with Arlene. Nothing's wrong with meeting people. She's real good looking. Not as good looking as me, but... Excuse me, lovely <laughs> lady cat. Do you know my friend uh, Garfield? Yeah. This is Garfield? Ooh, I've heard of Garfield. Yeah, he's a hero. He saved my life. He keeps reminding me. Plus, he's my best friend. Hmm. Well, any friend huh? of yours is a friend of mine. Garfield, would you like to share a lasagna some evening? Oh, well, maybe just a little one, the size of a small car. Huh? Huh? Ah! <laughs> Arlene, it's not what you think. She found my weakness. She mentioned lasagna. Arlene! Arlene! Ah, let her go. So, maybe you lost your lady friend. Look at the bright side. You'll oh. always have me around. Buddy, I think I figured out how to stop Nerma from being my friend. I saved his life, so I just have to get him to save my life. Then we'll be even. Brilliant, huh? Well, I don't care if you don't think it's brilliant. I think it's brilliant. So here's what I need you to do. Now, I'll take my dear friend Garfield a big dish of raisins. Oh, and then maybe I'll get him a pizza with lots and lots of anchovies on it. <laughs> huh? Odie, what's wrong? Nothing's happened to my best friend forever. Garfield has it. <gasps> what do you mean, not yet? <laughs> Garfield's going for a walk in that bad neighborhood where I ran into those tough bully dogs? <laughs> He'll get flattened. I have to go help him. <laughs> Don't worry, my friend. I'll protect you. <laughs> he saved my life. Now I'll save his. But the thing to remember in life is to put yourself first. Because <gasps> if you don't, nobody else will. What? Yes, it's important to take care of others, but it's also important to take care of yourself. You matter too, you know. He's right. I'm normal cat. Why am I worrying about someone else? Oh, look at the poor cat. Defenseless kitty, walking all by himself. I hope nobody bothers him. Hey, I'm not worried. Nermal will show up and save me, and we'll be even. And even if he can't save me, I'm still not worried. I have my Mongolian monster flea routine to protect me. Ahem, <clears throat> cat walking alone, defenseless, with a bad attitude. Boy, when you want trouble, you can't find it. Oh, you dogs don't scare me. My dear friend Nerma will show up here any second now to protect me. Uh, any second now. 
Oh, he's here. He's here to save me. I just want to tell you, I have to take care of myself. So, you're on your own. Bye. Oh, I just remembered. <laughs> Mongolian monster fleas. Better run if you don't want to catch them. Hey, we're not worried. Not one bit. We all went and got flea collars. Liz says you ought to be up and on your paws in a couple of weeks. I can't imagine why you went into that bad neighborhood all by yourself, Garfield. You couldn't have imagined someone was going to come to your rescue, could you? I'm going to go get your medicine. Oh, and Liz says no lasagna or other fattening foods for a couple of months. Garfield, I have the feeling it was in some small teensy way my fault, and I'm going to make it up to you. So? So, I've decided to stay here and wait on you and be your best friend. <laughs> You're supposed to be in bed, Garfield. Garfield? Aren't you ah! oh. so injured? Not as much as you're gonna be. No, Garfield, no. You, you saved my life. No, I got a Mongolian monster, please. No. I do say so myself, and I often do. Oh, he's coming. Good. The detour sign's in place. Let's hide. <gasps> this way to enter contest for cutest kitten in the whole wide world. Well, that's moi. I didn't know about this contest, but I'll win it. I always do. <laughs> That's not funny, Garfield. Of course it's funny. It's just not funny to you. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't funny. Huh? Huh? Well, it looks like someone needs a bath. Yes, they do. do. Stop sulking, Garfield. I know you don't like taking a bath. That's not true. I bathe once a year whether I need it or not. Oh, that must be Liz calling. Here, I'll leave you the loofah so you can scrub yourselves while I'm gone. Nah, this isn't so bad. Especially since I have my toy boat and my wind-up shark. Help! Shark! Shark! <laughs> I like this cool rubber mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Odie. Just trying to amuse myself. Taking a bath is so boring. That's because you don't know how to make it interesting. Make up a story. Make up a story. How do you do that? I'll show you. Wanna play, Odie? <gasps> then follow me. <gasps> wow. Is it like this at the bottom of every bathtub? 
It is if you use your imagination. Or even better, if you have your own cartoon show. This is so cool! <laughs> hey, Garfield, how come we can breathe and talk underwater? It's my fantasy, so I make up the laws of science. Hey, come on, let's check out the surface. <laughs> No, you can't. You see, the trouble with bubbles is... Might as well join them. Hey, recognize that boat coming towards us? Hmm. It looks just like your toy boat. The one that came with the... Oh! And anyway, that's a toy shark. You wind him up, and he's only good for about 15 seconds. Uh, sorry to be a bother, but could someone wind me up again? Uh, will you leave us alone if we do? Well, sure. Okay, then. Thanks! You're welcome. You're lucky that thing doesn't run on alkaline batteries. Well, okay, Garfield. Huh? This is your fantasy. What's next? Mm. What? <laughs> mm. Looks like flying fish. What? what? Hey, <laughs> you look like that thing John was using to scrub us. Just call me Lufa. You guys are a long way from your bathtub. Yeah. Any idea how we get back to it? I don't, but I'll bet the mermaids do. They live on the other side of Shampoo Island, past the giant faucet waterfalls. I'll be your guide. And how are we supposed to follow you? You can paddle, can't you? <laughs> In my fantasy, not gonna happen. I've got a much better idea. <laughs> Step on it, Lufa. John is baking lasagna, and I'd hate to miss it. Almost there. Look, the giant faucet waterfalls. Huh? Ah! Oh. <laughs> 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 That's where the mermaids hang out. But beware of their singing. Hey, I know this legend. You should beware of mermaids singing because it's so beautiful, it will lure you to crash your ship on the rocks. No, beware of it because they're just kind of lousy. to make me give up seafood. We have visitors. Lofa, who are your friends? I'll introduce us. I'm Garfield, this is Zodi. And I'm huh? Nermal, the cutest cat on land or sea. Remind me to leave you out of my next fantasy. What brings you here? Oh, this Lofa fish <laughs> told us you could help us find our way back home. Oh, sure. We know how to... Wait, huh? sister! Why you... it's... It's... Oh, well, all right. Huh? Oh, well, you don't have to speak. We've discussed it. And we decided that we'll tell you how to get back. 
back to your tub. If you'll do something for us. Does it involve listening to you sing? No. Then we'll do it. Our cove here is under siege. What? A terrible monster lurks about threatening all, scaring no. everyone away. Get rid of it, and we'll tell you how to get home. <laughs> a terrible monster? <laughs> what exactly is this terrible monster? It's... it's a... Rubber ducky! <laughs> right. How could a rubber huh? ducky hurt anyone? Garfield, what are we gonna do? I have an idea. Lupa, here's what I need you to do. You understand? Got it! Come on, Lupa, hurry! Ladies, it's showtime! Thank you for getting rid of the rubber ducky. We never thought of using our singing to drive him away. <laughs> we want you to have these seashell necklaces. And now we'll keep our promise. <laughs> and tell you how to get back to your own bathtub. Come here. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. Thanks, ladies. Before you go... Would you like us to sing you a farewell song? No! But thanks anyway. And thanks to you too, Lufa. Have a happy journey home, guys. Come on, guys. Follow me. <laughs> Lend us your jaws. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Boy, that Liz really can get to talking sometimes. Huh? I, I see someone unplug the tub and let all the water out. But I guess you guys are clean. Huh? I'll go get some towels from the cupboard. Garfield, we're back. <gasps> Did any of that happen? <laughs> of course not. It was just a fantasy. And not a bad one, if I do say so myself. <gasps> oh, I think the lasagna's ready. Odie, do you think any of that really happened? Okay, and how do you explain these? <laughs> I kind of like them.
Oh, boy, what a night. Oh, <laughs> you may have noticed that I'm a duck. Yep, I'm a duck, and you're probably wondering how I became a duck. It happened yesterday, and it started in this house just down the block. I knew someday my handsome prince would come and rescue me. And I knew someday I would find the lovely princess to be my bride. True love will always find a way. <sighs> and you're the man I have waited my entire life. Winona, are you watching fairy tales again? Uh, no, I, I was studying my magic spells. Don't lie to me, young lady. You were watching fairy tales again. I warn you, they'll give you bad dreams. Fairy tales aren't scary, Auntie. They are if you're a witch. Have you seen what they do to witches in fairy tales? They burn us, they melt us, and pretty children are always shoving us into ovens. I can't believe they show that stuff to kids. No, no, I don't want to hear this. Well, study your spells, and don't let me catch you watching or believing in fairy tales again. <laughs> I will find somebody someday, won't I? Somebody who thinks I'm beautiful and who really wants to love me. That really does happen, doesn't it? Nevermore. Ah! And while all that was going on in our neighborhood, we were out in farm country. And you know how much I love that. <sighs> I want to go home. <laughs> Gloria's making lasagna for dinner? Mm-hmm. Then I want to go home. You and Gloria seem very happy. Oh, we are, John. We are. Ever since we started dating, he seems happier and healthier. That's how I feel. And wait till you taste the dinner Gloria's making. Oh, I have to check on my lasagna. I found myself a great little lady, John. And don't call me Doc Boy. I haven't called you Doc Boy yet. You will. Well, this was going on when Nona was studying spells. Oh, I almost forgot. In case you missed the earlier episode, when Nona had a crush on John, she tried to marry him, but fortunately, we stopped it in time so John could be with Liz. But she still had a crush on John and couldn't resist sneaking a peek at what he was doing. <laughs> oh, there he is. She makes great lasagna. It won't matter. When Garfield's around and they serve lasagna, I never seem to get any. <laughs> John Arbuckle is so dreamy. I wonder who that guy he's talking to is. Don't worry, John. You're my brother. I'll make sure you His don't... His brother! Another Arbuckle! Just don't call me Doc Boy. I didn't know John had a brother. And he's just as dreamy. Did you hear that bird? I found my handsome prince at last. Nevermore! <laughs> and off she went to bag herself her very own Arbuckle. <laughs> she had the laugh down, but she still wasn't great on her spells. <laughs> I have one more cow to milk. I'll be back before dinner is served. And don't call me Doc Boy. I have it! Yet! Better get your place at the table, Garfield. You don't want to be late. I've never been late for lasagna, and I don't intend to start now. Oh, and I uh, still want to go home. <laughs> Hello, my name is Winona, and I'm going to be your bride. Oh, that's nice. John's brother can be slow. About a gallon and a half later. <laughs> my bride? Did you say you were going to be my bride? You can't say no to me. Yes, I can. Watch this. No, I said no to you. Oh, he's even oh. got a sense of humor. It goes with my sense of survival. <laughs> if he wants to play hard to get, I can play along. Room! I'll tell you why I want to go home, Odie. It's boring here on the farm. Nothing ever happens. Ah! <laughs> Help! Help! Don't fight it, Mr. Arbuckle! We were made for each other! Hey, I know who that is. 
That's Mrs. Cauldron's niece. What's all this noise about? Duck Boy, are you all right? I'm being chased by a witch who wants to marry me. Marry him? Yeah, and I knew you'd call me Duck Boy. Oh. I can't see who these people are, but I better cast some spells so they don't interfere. Like I said, Winona wasn't the greatest witch, <laughs> but she did have a copy of Magic Spells for Dummies. <laughs> Alakazam. Oh! She turned John into a squirrel. I don't know what's happening here! Oh, <laughs> she turned me into a duck. You can't do this to my friends. They're all... <laughs> and she turned Odie into a... A dog? I guess I should have picked some other kind of animal. Oh well. Finally, she swooped up ah. Doc Boy and carried him off. Ah. Let's go get married, Doc Boy. Help! And don't call me Doc Boy. John went off looking for nuts. But Gloria stuck around to panic. Oh, I don't want to be a horse. I want to be Dad's wife. Well, unless we think of something, that job <laughs> is about to be filled. No. The only person who can stop her is her aunt, Mrs. Cauldron. <laughs> You're right. None of us can drive, but we do have transportation. Huh? Hey -ho! Mrs. Cauldron will know what to do. We made it to Mrs. Cauldron's in no time. It was easy for her to change Gloria back to Gloria. Ella Kazak! <laughs> Dearie, are you all right? Do you know where you are? How many fingers am I holding up? Cast a long range spell to turn John back into John. Alakazat! But changing me back to me proved to be more difficult. Duck into cat. Duck into cat. I can't seem to find it. Here's duck into aardvark. Oh, you wouldn't want it. No, I didn't think so. Well, the duck spell will wear off, eventually. We may not have much time. I know where she must have taken them. I'll take us there. This will be a great time to try out my new tricycle broom. In no time at all, we were airborne. <laughs> and in even less time than that, we were nearing the Tower of Witchery. This is where witches go to marry, or to get their warts polished. Do you, Winona, take this man to be your lovely wedded warlock? For sure. And do you take this woman to be your lovely wedded witch? Will it matter if I say no? Not in the slightest. I didn't think so. And don't call me Doc Boy. I now pronounce you. Wait! Stop <gasps> the ceremony! Oh no, not again. Auntie! Winona, you bad little girl. <laughs> I just wanted someone to marry me. Is there anything <laughs> wrong with that? If he doesn't want to, <laughs> plenty. <laughs> Well, I guess I'm never gonna find anyone. Winona, you're young. And by the time I find someone, I'll be your age! <laughs> hey, give the kid a break. She's got to stop believing in fairy tales. Why? Because they don't come true. I'm 300 years old, and I've never seen a fairy tale come true. Did you ever believe in them? Well... No. Well, maybe that's why. But Winona does. She believes in true love and happy endings. Oh, those things don't happen in real life. They might if you let them happen. And in case you haven't noticed, you're a witch and I'm a talking cat who got turned into a duck? <coughs> this is not real life. Hello? Oh, 
Yeah. Give your niece a break and... That's not a bad idea. Now that's what I call a handsome prince. It's no use. I guess some of us weren't meant to ever find true love. We all feel that way. Until we do. <gasps> I always knew you were coming! I just didn't think you'd ever show up. May I have the honor of this dance? Totally. <laughs> Well, that's pretty much the happy ending of it all. Winona found her prince, Gloria and Doc Boy went home, and Mrs. Calden wiped out everyone's memory of what happened. Everyone except me, of course. Someone had to narrate this episode. Oh, and she assures me the stuck thing, it's gonna wear off in a couple of days, or weeks, or sometime. In the meantime, I've decided to enjoy it. Huh? Mm. I've always wanted to fly south for the winter. <clears throat> hmm. <laughs> hey guys, wait for me, and we can stop off for pizza. Vito's has a discount for ducks. 